this is one of my cardboard growing containers. And these plants you see in here are Swiss chard. They've come out of my window grow light situation. And I have put them in here so that they can get acclimated to, I don't know, a temperature shift, a light shift. In this container, I can take it out to the cold frame or the greenhouse during the day and then bring it back inside at night while it's just kind of getting caught up. I'm going to be watching the temperatures at night out in the greenhouse to see when I think I can leave them out there. And that will be when the hotbed has um, peaked at about 150 degrees. Um, a lot of times, they'll, it'll get even hotter than that. But when it comes back down and hits 150 and then starts to go down a little bit more, that's when I'll leave it out all night. So I was going to show you today how it is that I build these. First I start off with a sturdy box, then I put in some wool, dirty wool prefer preferably with manure on it, or I can put in straw, or I can put in newspapers. I use a lot of my junk mail to line the bottom of these boxes, and the reason is, is that it helps absorb the moisture. If you've noticed the potting soil can get kind of stagnant after a while, it starts to crust up and, and get kind of nasty. <coughs> so. By putting that water absorbing layer down in the bottom, it allows those roots to get down to some open, porous material that has fertilizer in it. If it's not dirty wool, I will then add a couple of cups of rabbit manure. It doesn't have to be composted, at least I don't compost it. Just rabbit manure in the bottom before I put the potting soil over it. And when I put the potting soil in, it only needs to be a couple inches and it saves me a lot of money. I do prefer to use the big bales of peat moss. I can get them here locally this big for um, $20, $20 and it, it sees me a really long time. Otherwise, if I'm using deep potting soil instead of the two inches, then it costs me about $3 to fill each one of these boxes, which is a lot. And so I use the wool or the other carbon with the, the rabbit manure to take up space. It will break down and turn into soil on its own. I, you know, it's not something I do, it's the bacteria doing it, which means that it, with only two inches, even if I am bu just buying bag potting soil, I can get three to four boxes with potting soil in them at, for a much less expensive cost. Now, after this has been in here for a while and the plants are big, this bottom is going to start rotting out because it's going to be wet. So all I do at that point is I take another box and I put this box into that box and I'm, I'm resituated to be able to move it again. So we'll go ahead and walk you through that and thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Go check out our website dirtpatchheaven.com and go check us out on Instagram and everywhere else and share our videos and we really appreciate it. Thanks! So this is my cold frame. I built this about three days ago and I moved my cold starts from the greenhouse into the cold frame. These are just my swivel sticks. Can you see them? These, they just swivel down. And then I have this here because I don't want my duck to get her little head through and eat all everything and I don't want the chickens to come in. And for that I just used um, the staple gun again and um, the boxes will keep the weeds from coming out. So it's like lasagna gardening in a box. I have moved all my cool weather plants here underneath the swing set. My kids don't play in this area. So I dug away all the mulch so that they're in contact with bare soil. I dumped three buckets of really, really strong rabbit manure tea on the dirt, put the boxes in, pushed the mulch up back around them. I have a, a frost cloth on the back ready to be put on at any minute. But hands down, the ones that have done the best have been the ones that I put wool in the bottom of, dirty wool. That one over there with the sad basil, that one I put potting soil in and nothing underneath it. What the wool or the straw or the hay does is it retains water in the bottom and it gives the bacteria carbon to eat and it just retains the water a whole lot better than just plain potting soil.
Sorry for the noise in the background. I wanted to show you what I do when the bottom of one of my um, cardboard box gardens gives way. I, you can see I picked it up and the bottom actually started to fall out, but I wanted to show you the mushrooms. Those were mushrooms that were growing on the base, which means I had plenty of manure down there and moisture and everything. And that's what grew out in the greenhouse last year in my hotbed. So, I don't need 500,000 onions. So the fact that these are a little bit spindly and it's going to take, and, the, and some of them aren't real big, it just doesn't matter. You keep watering them, they get a little bigger, you transplant them, and it all works out just fine. So you can see I put them in another box, and um, I'm going to carry it out to the greenhouse because it doesn't really need to be in here right now. And we will start on the next flat in the house, which will be tomatoes.